from the 33 Secrets and I just wanted to do a quick video uh, about a question I got from a student of mine. Actually a few students of mine have asked me this and that question is how do I get my ex back? So these guys want to know how do they get their ex-girlfriends back? And my answer to that is well <laughs> let, me, let me answer by saying this first thing you got to know about relationships are you cannot go backwards in a relationship okay so understand that you cannot go backwards in a relationship and as humans we tend to want to stay in our comfort zone and we tend to want to hang on to those old routines uh, even if they're not working for us anymore and being with your ex-girlfriend that or wanting to get your ex-girlfriend back that you've already broken up with for whatever reason, wanting to get her back is really wanting to return to that safe, comfortable routine where everything was familiar. And guess what? You don't grow that way, okay? You do not grow that way. You don't grow, you don't grow as, a, as a person. You don't grow mentally, spiritually, uh, financially, physically by going back to your ex-girlfriend. And I know this is, this is really tough for some guys that have been with the same girl for a long time. And I definitely understand that. I've been in those long-term relationships where they ended and it was very, very gut-wrenching and heartbreaking. Uh, believe me, I've been there and many guys have, okay? But understand this too, that when you allow that to take place and you just allow yourself to self-correct and move on from that experience, you will grow as a person. You will grow as a man and you will become a thousand times stronger than you ever were before. However, if you go back to that girl, say you get her back and you're able to get her back and you fall back into that comfortable routine and you fall back into that uh, familiarity of being with her, guess what? You, you really lose, you lose that powerful lesson that you could have gotten had you moved on. And I know moving on is the harder thing to do, obviously, right? But that's why it makes you stronger. But if you stay and you go back to this girl, uh, you will not grow in this experience. You just, you, you just won't grow. The only thing you're going to do is you're going to turn into more of a wuss. You're going to get weaker. Um, you're going to get more beta. Why? Because obviously you're trying to get her back. So you're in the weaker position right now. So you're kind of like in a, you're coming from a beggar's frame where you're trying to get her back. And if you go back to her with that in your head, I mean, really all you're going to do is try to supplicate your way back to her try to you know you're gonna validate the crap out of her you're gonna seek approval from her uh, you're gonna fill up her you're gonna fill up her ego with everything she wants to hear uh, crossing your fingers that that works to try to get her back because guess what that's what 99% of guys do uh, in order to get their ex-girlfriend back they sink into this low vibrational state of lower consciousness where all they can think about is just getting back in that familiar state with the girl and it's not even really about the girl so much it's more about getting back to that familiarity and that routine. I gotta get back to that routine because I, 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 can't, I can't take this. This is so uncomfortable. Everything's uncertain without her. I don't know what to do without her. But guess what? That's why you gotta move on and you, you have to allow yourself to grow. And I guarantee, because I've been teaching pickup and dating advice for so long, and I've been through these situations myself, when you're in a situation where the girl has dumped you, it's because of this exact reason right now that you're wanting to go back to her, okay? It's because of this exact reason that you went off of your path as a man, okay? You went off of your path and you allowed the woman to become your path, which is a huge, huge, huge mistake that I see a lot of guys do. A lot of guys who don't have dating education, a lot of guys who don't have pickup training, and even guys with pickup training. I've seen a lot of talented pickup artists, some of the best in the world, finally find a girl that they're really in love with, and they, they sink into that low vibrational, lower conscious state of mind where they just kind of go off of their path and they start wanting to be in that familiar zone with her, that comfortability, and you know having everything routine so they don't have to think so much so they don't have to worry so much so they don't have to like get out there like a man so when you're in that lower vibrational state you are no longer wanting to move on you're you're just wanting to to be comfortable and you're just wanting to stay in that routine that isn't going to help you grow 
as I've said, that frame of mind and that frame of thinking is really what caused your ex-girlfriend to break up with you in the first place. Because girls, as I teach my students, girls will not leave a guy who is kicking ass, a guy who is on his path in life, a guy who is uh, not making her his, his path, you know, not making the woman his, his pursuit in life. You can't make women your pursuit in life. You have to make your pursuits your pursuits in life. That's how women become attracted to you. I mean, right now, you're at a point where if you're trying to get your ex-girlfriend back, and even, like I said, even if you get back to her and she somehow takes you back out of pity or because she's bored or a lot of times girls will just take you back just to see if they can, just to, just to mess with you, just to know that they have that power over you. Um, and of course, so many chumps, because they're chumps and they're weak and they're beta, they go right back to her thinking, oh my God, it's just like before. Everything's gonna be perfect again, but this time it's different because I've changed and I'm, I'm gonna be the man she always wanted and I'm gonna give her everything she wanted and everything she deserves. And you start thinking that way and you're like, screw those pickup artists and screw M, every, all that advice. No, I'm not listening, I'm doing it my way and I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna give her the world and I'm gonna be the sweetest guy on the planet. I'm gonna be the nicest guy on the planet and I'm gonna buy her flowers every day and I'm gonna tell her I love her every day and I'm gonna massage her feet and I'm gonna be there for her whenever she needs me and I'm gonna return her texts as soon as she texts me back and I'm gonna be the man that no other man can be. And then you go in, you go, you go back with her with that in your mind thinking that you know, that's gonna get her and that's gonna attract her. Guess what? You're in for a big surprise because one thing, one fundamental thing that will never change and love can never change this is the fact that women respond to value. Women respond to guys with value. They respond to guys who are on their path in life, guys who are on their purpose in life. They don't respond to guys who are weak, who are beta, who, who go off of their path in life for her. They respond to guys who stay on their path, no matter what garbage she gives them, no matter how much nagging she does, they stay on their path and they let her know, they let her know who has the stronger frame. They let her know who is leading this tribe, okay? Even if it's just you and her, you're like a two person tribe. They let her know that, okay? Not so much with words, but by their actions. They let her know by their actions that she is with a real man who is not gonna go off his path for her. Okay, and believe me, I've had many girls that I, I was like crazy in love with, threatened to leave if I didn't stop, uh, for example, if I didn't stop teaching pickup. Like, you know, they'd be like, this is crazy. If you keep picking up girls, this isn't a relationship, I'm out of here. And I would always say, well, when you first started dating me, did I not tell you what I do? Did I not tell you that this is my job? And were you not attracted to me because of that? Did I not tell you way ahead of time what you were getting yourself into. And of course the girl will be like, yeah, you told me, but now I've changed my mind. You know, and I'm like, it doesn't work that way. And if it does work that way, it does not work that way with, with me. When I tell you this is the way it is, and this, and this is the way it's gonna be, guess what? This is the way it is, and this is the way it's going to be. And because I'm like that, you know, even if they leave, they, sometimes I've had girls like actually leave and, and to, test, to test me, and they've left. Most of the time it's only for a few days, sometimes only a few hours. Uh, but really, when they do that, guess what? I'm not sitting on my, on my, uh, on my couch moping. I'm not, sit, I'm not laying down feeling sorry for myself. Instead, guess what I'm doing? I'm doing exactly what I would have done even if she was still with me. I'm doing exactly what I would have done even if we were still a couple and none of this drama happened. Okay, nothing changes. I don't, you know, just because I'm, she's pissed at me and I want to like say I want to uh, make sure, let her know who's boss, I don't all of a sudden change my plans and then call up my wingman and let's go to the, let's go to the bars and start picking up girls. Forget her. I'm going to go, I'm going to go get laid. You know, I don't do that because now you're acting, <laughs> you're acting out of a frame that is not yours either. You're, uh, you're reacting based off of her frame. So really you're going off of your path again you know so really part of being a man and part of being uh, an alpha male a real alpha male is staying on your path in life staying on your path and st staying true to your purpose in life and not letting any woman any hot girl no matter how beautiful she is take you off of that path and you're going to be tested 
when you start getting good at uh, what I teach you, pick up and dating advice, you're going to start dating hotter girls. And you're going to start dating girls that many people will consider out of your league that, you know, that you're lucky to be with. They'll tell you that. You're lucky to be with this girl. They'll say things like that. And, uh, and realize what your value is too in that relationship, what you bring to the table. Because I'll tell you, man, there is not a single girl on the planet, no matter how much more attractive she is than me, that that is going to make me forget my own purpose, my own goals, my, and my own path in life. There's no girl on the planet, no matter how hot she is, that is going to be able to take me off of this path. None. And because I stay true to this path, they stick with me. And because these are my values and this is my belief system and it's so ingrained into who I am and nobody can take me off of it, girls become attracted to that. That's generally the, the reason why they become attracted. And then, of course, throughout the relationship, uh, as any woman would, it's her job to test you, which they often do and they often will. So just expect them to test you. Just expect them, you know, for whatever you're doing, uh, they might be excited at first that you know they're seeing you and you're this uh, you're this goal-driven, ambitious guy, and that'll be the reason that why she wants to hook up with you. Uh, but if you date her long enough, be prepared. She will test you. Okay, she will test you, and she will see if you are for real. And if you fail her test and you start going off your path to please her, and you stop, um, say you're an actor, because I have a lot of friends who are actors. A lot, of these, a lot of these guys, man, they have gone off their path to please their girlfriends and they all got dumped. If she leaves you, it's another test, okay? It's just another test if she leaves you. And very rarely, very, very rarely, in all honesty, will she leave for good. But if she does, you know what? She's doing you a favor. She wasn't meant to be in your life. She's not strong enough to go the distance with you. She's a bad teammate. If she is going to leave you for, for you staying on your path in life, guess what? She is a bad teammate, okay? Because your girlfriend, you and your girlfriend, when you're in a committed relationship, you guys are like this, okay? You guys are a team. And if she is not strong enough to stay with you as a team, let her go. That's what I do. I mean, even when the girl threatens to leave, doesn't even phase me. No matter how much I care about the girl, no matter how much I love her. Like if she's really serious, I'll say, you know what? I'll have a, a very quick talk. I'm not going to waste too much of my day. I'll have a very quick talk and say, I would love for you to stay. I, I think we have a great time together. Uh, I love you. I'm committed to you. But if that's not enough for you and you want to see what else is out there, then go. Go see what else is out there. But there's a caveat to that, okay? The caveat is if you see what's out there and you try to come back, guess what? That door will be closed. And I, don't, I, don't, I do not play around when I say that, okay? I know a lot of guys like throw threats and they're like, if you leave, never come back. And then they take the girl back not with me and you could ask ex-girlfriends of mine who tried to test me and they were they left the door they walked out and then they tried to come back and then they came back to a very shocking surprise and that surprise was oh Matt actually stands his ground Matt actually meant what he said Matt actually did shut the door Matt actually doesn't want me back hey you left I don't want a teammate like that I don't want a teammate who is going to leave. I don't want a teammate that I cannot trust to be loyal. I do not want a teammate that is not going to stick by my side, okay? Because if that's the kind of teammate you are, go. And it just astounds me that guys, their teammates are like that. Their girlfriend is like that, okay? So when I say teammate, I'm talking about your girlfriend. It just astounds me that these guys want these girls so back. They, they want these girls so bad to come back to them. And it's like, Dude, brother, she left you. She left you, okay? She's a bad teammate. Why would you want her on your team, okay? It doesn't mean that you didn't, you know, to, to shift all the blame to her because chances are if she left and she's leaving for good, um, chances are if it's going beyond a shit test, chances are you've done things that have really killed your value in her eyes and she, she really is serious about going and she doesn't want to come back. She's no longer attracted to you. Uh, so when that happens, really reflect on what you did. And generally, it, like I said, it's generally because you went off of your path and purpose in life and you started making her your path and purpose in life, where you started living for her almost. And if you're not living for yourself, 
guess what? You ain't living, right? So understand that. It's just when you lose your ex-girlfriend and, you know, all these guys, and I see all these uh, info products too. A lot of these a lot of pro a lot of these marketers are selling products like how to text your ex back, how to get your ex back, because they know how many guys and how many people for that matter are desperate to get their ex their ex partner back. And like I said, it's not really about that person, your ex. It's more about wanting to return to that safe, comfortable routine that you guys had together. It's really about that and not wanting to have to face the pain of uncertainty out there not wanting to have to face the pain of being rejected all over again by tons and tons of girls okay it's it's you not wanting to face your future really and you not wanting to go through the pain of growing as a person as a man as a human being as a spirit you know it's you just wanting to stay comfortable and go right back to her and just you know cuddle with her and wanting things just to go back like go back to how they were before and as I said in the beginning of this training video, you cannot go back in a relationship. You cannot, okay? But for you guys who are still holding out hope to get your ex-girlfriend back, I will say this, because that was the title of this video, how do you get your ex-girlfriend back? So it's only fair that I tell you, um, it is possible to get your ex-girlfriend back, back. It's very possible, okay? If anybody tells you it's not, it's, it's, it's impossible to get your ex-girlfriend back, uh, they're full of it. You can get your ex-girlfriend back it's, it's really not that difficult, to be honest with you. Um, I would say every ex-girlfriend that I wanted back, I was able to get back. And this is why I speak from experience. Uh, I regret that. I regret using a, my dating education and some of my pickup skills. I mean, it's been a while since I've done this, but I regret using uh, my knowledge to get somebody back in my life that already left. She already, she already proved to me that she's not loyal. She's not gonna be a loyal teammate. For the sake of this training video, let me say it is possible. It is very possible to get your ex back. The question is, why do you want that person back? All right, and I'm not gonna go on lecturing you anymore. I'm just gonna tell you how to get your ex-girlfriend back. The way to get her back is by becoming that man that she fell in love with. And that's the only way to get her back. You have to go back to that person that you were when she met you, okay? That that guy who was adventurous, who was free-flowing, who didn't care, who was didn't have filters, who spoke to her without filters, who wasn't trying to seek her approval. He was just being fun and gregarious and he was he was on his path and purpose in life. You know, that's who she fell in love with. That's who you have to go back to. And when you go back to that guy, you will remind her exactly who you are and within time she will come back to you okay it's not gonna happen overnight sometimes it does but in most cases most cases uh, I want to make sure I'm framed here I don't know if it's recording my whole head but in most cases if you go back to being the guy you were that she met originally she will come back to you she will okay but you have to go back to that guy and it, it has to be genuine it has to be authentic you can't be doing it because you're trying to get her back because if you're only doing it to try to get her back she's not gonna come back you know something about uh, something about the energy we send out it has to be authentic okay it has to be authentic so you have to become that guy again that you were that she met that she fell in love with in the beginning and you have to stop being this guy that you became that she broke up with you know which is basically that weak beta approval seeking validation sucking a uh, spineless boyfriend that you became because you didn't want to lose her okay you can never be afraid to lose a girl you can never ever be afraid to lose a girl if you get anything out of this training video take that with you never ever ever be afraid to lose a girl whether it's a girlfriend somebody you're dating or somebody you want to get back never be afraid to lose a girl realize there is an abundance of beautiful gorgeous women out there uh, just waiting for you Again, to get your ex-girlfriend back, you have to go back to being the guy that you were in the beginning. But here is, here's the rub with that, okay? Here's the rub. If you genuinely and authentically go back to being that guy you were, that she met and fell in love with, that guy you were in the beginning, something, something shocking is gonna happen. When you become that guy again that you once were, guess what? 
you're not gonna want her back. You're just not gonna want her back. I've seen that with so many students who are like, okay, I'm gonna get her back. I'm going back to the guy I was. And then they work on themselves. Um, you know, they'll spend weeks, sometimes even months going back to being that guy. And they'll completely forget about her for the time being because, I mean, it's gonna be uh, emotionally uh, gut-wrenching. I mean, it'll tear your heart up if, if you keep thinking about her. I mean, you genuinely have to forget about her for a while and focus on fixing yourself. Focus on healing, okay? It's a healing process. But like I said, once you've healed and once you've gone back to your normal self, your normal self, that guy you once were, you're not gonna want her back. You're gonna be, you're actually gonna be pissed off at her that she even tried to test you this way and she put you through all this nonsense. You're not gonna want her back. And this is generally when you have that swingers effect as I call it. I call it the swingers effect uh, where the girl kind of senses, she senses that you've moved on and her ego just can't take it, so she needs to get revalidated. And the way she gets revalidated is by calling you out of the blue and going, hi, I miss you. Do you still think about me? Can I see you? Do you have a minute? Do you wanna go, do you wanna go to lunch and talk? And she starts doing all that. Okay, I call it the swingers effect because there was a very powerful movie uh, in the mid-90s, 1996 I think it was, called Swingers, where they kind of documented this very weird, strange effect where you're, you get dumped by your ex-girlfriend and then you're just crushed by it and then a few months go by and you're finally over it, you're finally healed. And the moment you're finally healed, guess what? Your phone rings and it's her and she's wanting to talk to you and she's wanting to to work things out you know it's a very very strange effect it's almost like women can sense they can sense like how long it would take for a guy like yourself to actually get over her and the moment that happens uh, she is going to call you and see if she could still get you back but be careful because it's a trap it's a trap every single one of you guys who fell into that trap and you went back like a chump what happened what happened were things like they were before did she change? No, she might have changed for like a few days, sometimes at most a couple of weeks if she's a good actress, until, you, until she knows she has you back in her, in her clutches, she has you back in her, in her hands, in her palm, that's when she crushes you again and she lets you have it and she dumps you all over again. And you here you are all over again, walking around, crushed and having to heal all over again, okay? Don't put yourself through this. Don't put yourself through this. It's not worth it, okay? As my student, I'm telling you, there is an abundance of beautiful, gorgeous, attractive women out there with your name on it, just waiting for you, just waiting for you to come into their lives, okay? But you're not gonna meet that person if you're still hung up over your ex-girlfriend. As they say, they have a saying, they have a saying, and this is mainly for women, but it does apply to guys. Uh, I usually tell, my female friends, you're not going to meet your next boyfriend standing in front of your ex-boyfriend's house. And the same applies to guys, okay? You are not going to meet your next girlfriend if you're standing in front of your ex-girlfriend's house all day long. It's just not going to happen. You have to stop standing in front of your ex-girlfriend's house in order to meet your next girlfriend, period. That's just the way it works, all right? So I'm going to end this training video here. Just in all fairness, because I did, uh, I did want to answer this question. You know, can you get your ex-girlfriend back? The answer to that question is yes, absolutely. You can get her back. Okay, take it from me. You can get your ex-girlfriend back. It's not impossible. All it takes is giving her a little bit of space, giving her a little time. You, you have to cut all communication. Period. Don't text her. Don't write her. Don't email her. Uh, just cut all communication with her and move on. Okay, this is the way you're going to get her back. You cut all communication, you move on, and when I say move on, you're moving on for the purpose of your sanity, okay? For the purpose of healing. Giving yourself time to heal mentally, spiritually, physically, because chances are you're exhausted from this breakup. You're probably like thinking about it all day long and crying about it and not being able to sleep and stressing and feeling depressed. So uh, getting dumped by a girl you really like is really depressing. So you have to give yourself time to heal, okay? And 
uh, like I said, depending on how long you guys have been together, I mean, if you've been together together a year, for example, it'll probably take you a good couple of months to heal, at least, okay, at least, especially if you really like the girl, it'll take you like two or three months. But once you have, you are done healing, you don't even have to contact her, you don't have to call her, there's something out there in the universe, she will feel it. She will feel like you have moved on and she's lost you and that is when your phone will ring and that's when she will try to get you back, okay? And like I said, you could either be a chump and go right back to her and try to be safe and you know go back to that comfortable routine or you could be a man and you could keep pushing forward and keep growing. You could finish the path that you're on, finish the path that you started in this life. Okay, only this time, the next hot girl you meet and you fall in love with, you'll have this reference experience with your last girlfriend that you can now use. You can now use that as a reference experience to go, hey, I met this bomb ass chick. She's way hotter than my last girlfriend. She, she treats me way better. But guess what? I'm not gonna screw up this time. I'm not gonna go off my path this time. I'm gonna stay on my path. I'm gonna be a man and I'm not gonna lose this girl. Okay, I'm gonna stay on my path. And when you go in with that attitude, guess what? That girl won't leave you. She'll be in love with you. She won't want to leave you. She'll still test you. Don't get me wrong. You know, she will still test you. She's female. She will still test you. But now you have that reference experience of what happened last time. And you're not going to let it happen to you again. Right? At least I hope so. Okay. So until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. And if you enjoyed what you just learned in this new secret training video, then don't forget to add yourself to my priority waiting list for my full training course, The 33 Secrets to Dating Beautiful Women, where you can learn my top 33 secrets for dating only the hottest, youngest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet, eights, nines, and tens. All you need to do is click the link above, pop in your name and email, and you're all set. It takes two seconds. So do that right now, and I will see you in my next training video. Don't go back. Don't go back, guys. Don't be a chump. Let that girl go and move on. Take the lesson you learned from her and move on. Do not let her get you back in her clutches. And I know it's hard, I know it's tough, I know it's not easy. Believe me, I know it's not easy. But guess what? You have to. You have to do it, okay? You have to do it. It's not the end of the world, I promise you. It's not the end of the world. And I promise you she's not the last girl on the planet. I, I, I cannot promise you that enough she is not the last girl on the planet and something about when you're really in love with a girl and she breaks up with you it creates this halo effect around her so right now you she probably has a halo effect around her where all you could see are her good qualities and that's not good man when somebody's got you and uh, you're looking at them with with a friggin halo effect around them where you're not seeing the real them you're not seeing any of their bad qualities and I know I know the halo effect well because I do that with a lot of girls that I'm gaming. So be careful of that. Be careful that you're not so in love with this girl that you, you put a halo effect around her and all you're seeing are her good qualities. I mean, you really have to sit down and remind yourself of all the bad qualities. You know what I mean? Remind yourself of all the things that bugged you about her, all the things that, that used to piss you off about her, all the things that used to irritate you about her. Remind yourself of that. You know, especially right now. I mean, it's it's... It's so critical to remind yourself of that right now, that you're going through this pain and this hurt, okay? Because it will help you heal. It will help you see her as a regular person and as just another girlfriend. She's not special. She doesn't have a golden vagina. She's just another girl and uh, she took advantage of the fact that you became a spineless wuss while you were with her. So don't let her put the halo effect around you and, and just save yourself the pain of having her having to watch her like run off with some new guy because a lot of these girls will very quickly rebound and hop in bed with another guy which is is really sad and pathetic I mean some girls won't some girls will actually have self-esteem and they'll just uh, move on to doing their own thing but many girls will move on to a new guy 
just because they can't stand being alone. You know, uh, I always I always equate women who are who have low self-esteem to uh, they're like monkeys swinging on a vine. They can't let go of one vine until they grab onto the next. You know, and generally girls with low self-esteem, uh, they swing from boyfriend to boyfriend because they just can't be alone. And guess what? You don't want a girlfriend like that because girls like that never grow. They never grow mentally. They never grow spiritually. They never mature. And you don't want a girl like that as your partner, as your teammate in life. You don't want a girl like that to be your girlfriend because if she has low self-esteem, I mean, that, those are the chicks that you see in these pickup videos that are easy to pull.